When it comes to your health, there should be no compromises. Check out ZocDoc, the place where you can find and book doctors who will make you feel comfortable, listen to you, and prioritize your health. ZocDoc is a free app and website where you can search and compare highly rated in-network doctors near you and instantly book appointments online. I love ZocDoc, and I can never go back to booking doctors the old way. Never. Go to ZocDoc.com rivalry and download the ZocDoc app for free. Then... Find and book a top-rated doctor today. That's Z-O-C-D-O-C dot com slash rivalry, ZocDoc dot com slash rivalry. Hello, Sibling Rivalry listeners. This is a reminder that your favorite siblings, me and Bob the Drag Queen, we are coming to San Diego at the Balboa Theater, darling, on August 8th. Now, I know this date had to be rescheduled in the past because of, you know, things like Madonna and um, some other personal life uh, things, but August 8th is the tea. It's definitely happening. And Bob and I are excited to bring you Sipping Rivalry Live, the podcast, to San Diego on August 8th. So if you don't have your tickets, go to monetexchange.com or, or see thedragqueen.com and you can see where you can find us. You know what? If all else fails, Google San Diego Sipping Rivalry. Trust me, it's going to pop up. We can't wait to see y'all live. It's going to be everything. Bye. Reunited and it feels so good. I can't say that. You you can say that. I can't say that. I can't. I can't say that. I can't say that. It, feels so, it just feels so good. Right? You've been busy, bitch. You've been all over the world, bitch. You too. You well, say, no. The last you couple of like, weeks, it with a gig. I uh, know that is true, bitch. I will. <laughs> book my if if management is not booking me because there's fourteen thousand girls I I I've been doing this a hundred years so I will book myself out yeah yeah so. um how is how 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 have the past couple of weeks been with you 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 since I left Trinity has been Trinity and Jay Jolie and Pheromone have been in a thing Trinity got on his podcast shut it down Trinity is uh, you are a woman. About you, you you are a woman of your word. That's one thing. You will talk about you talk your shit, and then you would address it head on, which I can appreciate every time. I, I've said this before. I'll say this again. I am many things, but a liar is not one. And you know, it's all. It's really not that serious. It's not that deep. Yeah. Um, you know, I said who do, who do I hate? I don't really hate either one of those girls, and I'm not going to talk. I'm not. We're not going to get yeah. deep in this. Yeah, thing, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I don't really hate anybody. Um, yeah. But it was fun. It was it was fun for the, for the fans. It was, it was fun for the, the fans. fans. Well, my thing is the fans eat that shit up. Like I, the amount of fucking Twitter things, and I was being tagged. People would tell me like Reddit fucking things, and were like I was like, and there would be like three hundred comments. Deep. I'm like, the fans act like they don't that they're so over. Like why does everyone? But they love the drama. They eat that shit they up every it. fucking time, and they act like they don't like it. They love it. They love it. They love it. They love to pick a side. They love and one thing I I've, I've realized too and it, you know I I I hardly engage with with people online as much anymore. Uh-huh. Um because that's where it, where I would get in a lot of trouble. Um but what what I've realized is people will come out of the woodwork that were never following you, never supporting you and just be like, "I knew I didn't like her." And I'd be like, "Bitch, you weren't following me anyway. Like get away. Like, I don't care that you don't like me." I yeah. generally don't care, but they swear they they have set up in their minds that we do. Like someone has told them that we can. I'm like, bitch, I don't fucking care. Get off of my page. Yeah, but you know it. it uh, 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 uh. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, fuck those bitches. We are on this podcast to talk about something that is more exciting than that, which is RuPaul's Drag Race season nine. I mean, All Stars nine. Um, I thought you were going to say my cat, my new cat. Okay, so you texted me a, a few weeks ago, sent me the picture that you, that you were getting a Sphinx, and uh-huh. this is a very beautiful Sphinx cat. Are you loving? Are you hating? Are you regretting? I love her. I love her. She's crazy. Sphinx She's so crazy, but so pretty. Um, She's gorgeous. She is, in, I got her inspired by you, because I, I, I've i always been like, not anti-cat, but just I, I just didn't want cats because their hair is so fine, and when it gets everywhere, it just floats in the air. I just can't. Uh-huh. So when I met your cat, I was like, okay. And then my boyfriend has been like begging to get a cat. I was like, well, fine, we'll get we'll get one. And then it all it all happened like really fast. I, I yeah. don't know how like it just like fell into my lap, and then I was like, okay, 
Yeah. So, you know, yeah. I've always I've always been like, I should get two. Because they always say, if you have a cat, you should get two. They can keep each other in company. They blah, 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 blah. So, like, I, I, I've I been on the verge of wanting to get a second cat. But I'm like, when I have a pet sitter, too, so when I'm like, is, getting her to watch one cat, I feel is a lot. Being like, hey, can you watch two? It feels like so much. But I always want to get a second cat. I love Having a Sphinx cat is a great place to be. They're very affectionate. As kids, they're very that. They're very, like, crazy. But everyone with Sphinx cats knows they're very affectionate because they like to be close to you, to be warm. And they mm-hmm. like – everyone who I know has a Sphinx cat, they like sleeping with you in the bed. And they like being under the blankets with you at night. So your cat will probably be the same way. I – um, uh, we've been experimenting of what she's comfortable with. And, and it just – it really just varies because she's, like, such a crazy personality. Um, her name is Ember Nix. Ember Nix. Um, Ember because she looks like a like burnt coal. Yeah. Like an Ember. Cute. And then Nix is the goddess of death. And um, Sphinx cats, they look evil. They look like bats. <laughs> they do look so, a little evil. So I'm like, oh, okay. So I have, I finally have a villain <laughs> in, the, in, in the house. <laughs> a little Girl. Villain. Well, thank God you have a villain because they don't have any uh, villains on this All Stars. Every, I mean, the only little bit of villainry we had was between um, uh, Angiri and Roxy, just a little bit. But this has been a pretty, um, very happy go lucky season, which I guess ours was too. So I can't be too mad about it. But um, yeah, no villains on All Stars Seven, include I mean All Stars Nine, um, including Georges. At the top of the episode, I'm realizing Georges has such beautiful teeth. She has a big teeth for her face and i realized i love a bitch that has big teeth because i have i'm bad i have big teeth and i think georgia's has a very pretty smile she is a very pretty human like mm-hmm. she's just out of drag really cute in drag beautiful so petite proportionate i guess except for her teeth i haven't really noticed her teeth but um yeah. but she's yeah. just really pretty in general she also is always talking about gaping i'm like I'm like, is, do, do do people want to be gaped? I don't want to be gaping. I feel like if it's going to be as gaping, that means shit is falling out. Girl, who wants, she, she, I guess George just likes to be gaped the fuck open. I, I know, I know there are people out there who are into um, those things because I've had like on Grindr, I've had conversations like uh, of that before, like people saying that to like, you know, wanting to do that. I'm like, um, I, I, that doesn't, I, I, and to be frank, I'm way more of a side than I am. I mean, like I will, like I do have, you know, that, all that, but that just like, what you had to, what do you put in you for it to be that wide open? <laughs> you, I mean, like you, Brooklyn and I, we're all side girlies. I don't know a lot of the girls who are sides, but I, I identify with wanting to be a side. I think in a relationship I've, I've had to uh, be one of more or the other. But I definitely prefer a side, which I'm cool with some with some foreplay and some dick sucking. And I'm like, I've, I've, I feel great. I had a great time. Yeah. Yeah. Just blowing it. Be, be done. Be done. You know. Like a birthday cake. <laughs> yeah. With my boyfriend, I know exactly what to do, bitch. I'm, I'm like, I, I got too many things to, I, I have too many things to, to, to. Uh, get done today, so hurry up, you know. <laughs> Girl, so I gotta I feed the exact- cat. I gotta get feed this damn new cat. Girl, hurry up! Exactly what button to do to 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 go from zero to sixty. I know exactly. Same girl. It's like clockwork when I needed to, you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yes, ma'am. Shout out to all the people out there who know your partner well enough that, yes, you will. It's sometimes going a long time, but sometimes, bitch, ten minutes is all we need, and let's just finish it and let's be done. Yeah, we got things to do. <laughs> <laughs> so Chanel is comes in, and Chanel went from zero to hero overnight. She went from zero stars to two stars to two stars because her and George just won, and they both gave each other a star. So they each got plus two stars this episode. And I think that that yeah, RuPaul said there's a clear path to the finale for everyone still, and clearly he wasn't lying. And Chanel is finally in, in, in a position to be a contender this season. I mean that happened on our season too with on on yep. uh, All Star Seven. Uh, last, RuPaul said challenge. to all of us that you know it, it, there's still a clear path, and up into the last challenge, right before the finale, it was anybody's game, and it, and it ended up being that way. Like yeah. um, somebody made the top four that didn't have the most stars, and it was yeah. like you know that was great. Yeah, um, but Nina's saying like, mm, what a stupid move, did Chanel? 
Like Nina's like, no, girl, you made the wrong thing. You should not have given Georgia a star because that gives her, gives her more. And I do think Nina has a point. I think it would have been so cunty if Georgia gave Nina a Chanel a star and Chanel was like, and I give mine to, I don't know, Vanjie. Uh, Georgia's would have been gagged. That would give us some good fucking TV, but she did the right yeah. thing and she gave her a little star. Wah, 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 wah. Yeah, I mean, it makes me it makes me wonder if they had a conversation like privately, because some tea about All Stars four. I, I think you, I think I, you may you may or may not remember this, but yeah. anytime that I was in the top, and I know at least with Naomi and somebody else, I think it was you. I think it was Naomi and you when w- one of the 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 episode that Latrice was going home that like that she went home I walked past y'all and I said don't worry but I was like I gotta make good TV um and that's when I was like saying well who I don't know who I'm gonna vote for who who do you think should go home because uh, they all said you Latrice I already knew I was picking Latrice and I we were walking by and you know we we everything's on camera so you have to kind of do it when it's not on camera, so yeah. I don't know if you remember that or 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 what, but I um I specifically remember walking by. Maybe y'all didn't catch it, but I was like, "Don't I worry." Catch it. But um, Word. yeah, I mean, yeah, you can, I mean, you can, there's ways to plan things without it being on TV. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. But I also just make, makes me realize that Chanel, I don't think Chanel's thinking strategy. I think Chanel just is just happy to still be there. Well, not still, be, not to finally home. get a star. Yeah, I think she just <laughs> she'll just do whatever. So you know, which whatever, good for her. Um. And they, they, one thing that came to my mind, they talk about this, um, at the, the, the thing for the episode, the winner wins a life science supply of Anastasia Beverly Hills. I don't think, like, if I had to be very honest, like, okay, I think you get a year supply of makeup because you get like every shade they have and you have like all the, so I guess if you were to use everything, but no one is like, again, for example, I don't like pink lip or red lips really. So, so I you only, can have that for a lifetime, girl. Right, you know what I mean. So, but I'm like, so you literally have it for a lifetime. But I gave a lot of mine to like my my drag sisters and shit. Like I didn't, I yeah. gave like everything to my drag sisters, like that I didn't want. And like, Same. and I'm like, I think that when you win a lifetime supply, since they're what 17, uh, 16 winners of the regular season and all stars, but you have twenty seven. Like it should be a thing where like annually you write a little list to Anastasia Beverly Hills, not to exceed maybe I don't know. A thousand dollars, which they can afford, and they they should re- uh, su- supply whatever you want for like for the rest of your life. Like, I don't think that's such a tall order to ask. Anastasia is a huge makeup company; they can afford to give every winner a thousand dollars of what they want every year. Well, Monet, as a brand ambassador of Anastasia of Beverly Hills, <laughs> I promise you, if you reach out to Norvina or um. Anastasia's Instagram, they will definitely send you things all the time. They do me all the time. I get personalized messages from uh, Norvina. I mean, like, we're we're best, basically besties oh, at this point. And so, okay. ow! Ow! This is what I'm talking about, this cat! She yeah. is a crackhead! Like, literally <laughs> just attacked my feet! Yeah, God, 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 oh God. God heard, God heard your, 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 your little Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, message, and he said, bitch, I got oh. you right now. <laughs> she said, she said, my name is Nix, not Anastasia. <laughs> your, your cat works for Mac, clocked. Girl. Um, but... <laughs> <laughs> she is being evil right now. I'm sorry. Yes, but message them. They, they'll send you some stuff. I'm okay. sure. Okay, where? I'm. I'm. A, I'm. A, you know, Norvina. I don't. I don't. She made a joke about me like this past season. RuPaul said something, and she was like something Monet exchange. So maybe Nor- Norvina does know and care who I am. I, I will DM Norvina. Oh, bitch, Norvina okay. is. First of all, she's extremely beautiful and so kind. Work. And, um, yes, this is me sucking up. But, um, also, she really is. And she's a huge fan of Drag Race. She knows every single one of us. Every okay, single work. one of us. Okay, every single work. one of us. Yeah. I made a Norvina for some more, um, Ashton and some more Pure Hollywood liquid lipsticks. I would love those. Yeah, I mean, they're, like, she, 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 her mom is, uh, the, the owner of the brand. She, she she's rich. She didn't need to come on Drag Race. She comes on a Drag Race because she's, like a fan of the show. <laughs> um, who would you say the so I guess looking at the thing now, the front runners are Roxy Andrews, Plastique, and Georges. Like those are the three front runners. And yep. like, if I'm being very honest, 
I'm gagged to see Georges up there. Same. I thought Plastic. I knew Plastic would have, have have amazing runways, but I think Plastic has really fucking gagged us with her talents across the board. Like Plastic, yeah. in my mind, like Plastic deserves to win just as much as Roxy does. Like I think I that agree. Plastic has been fucking killing it. I'm so impressed by her by her what she did this season. Yeah, I I I mean, like her runways have just blown beyond everybody out of the the water. I mean, Gottmik has gotten amazing runways too. Yeah, but Plastique is just. Like you said, she's really stepped out of her comfort zone and showing everybody things that you wouldn't think somebody that's this pretty would be able to do. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 really insane, and like you know, yeah, and then uh, Vanjie drops this bomb that her and Roxy used to date. Girl, it looks like did you know this? <laughs> no, but it it sounds like uh, Vanjie has like tried to stick it in everybody. Girl, if there's one thing Vanjie will do is date a drag queen. Like, Girl, I guess drag, she's really, Vanjie's really about that. You know, maybe, you know, some drag families um, require, a, a, you know, a ritual or, a, a, you know, an entrance fee. And maybe she wanted to be an Andrews before she became a, a Mateo. Mateo. Mm -hmm. And I think she's verse. Like, I think Vanjie's a true verse queen because Brooklyn, I know, is a side. Mick is the bottom and Roxy's the top. So Vanjie, Vanjie is, is, is Vanjie is making a list and she's checking it twice, honey. She is hitting. Vanjie does all. She plays all positions. Girl, yeah, uh, she uh, she's definitely uh, trying to create a band here. Definitely <laughs> trying to create a, a new uh, drag band. Yes, girl. Well, her drag Catch them all. Band. It's like Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> Who will Vanjie date next? Y'all comment below. Who do y'all think is next? Oh my god! Vanjie? Oh my god! Is Vanjie the one that fucked you? No. Did I just crack the code here? <laughs> Did I just crack the code here? We have all been wondering which drag queen fucked Monet, and I think it was Vanjie. She fucked everybody else. <laughs> You know, y'all should ask her if Vanjie and I, you know, I did move to LA around the time um, that all, you know what? Ask Vanjie. If, 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 have Vanjie comment on what she thinks or, or what she wants to say about the situation. Uh huh. She clapped them cheeks. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> um, this episode <laughs> is a lip sync live. Oh my God. And she has a hairless cat tattoo. It all makes sense. <laughs> it all makes sense. Trinity, oh. we do a drag. You are the Velma of drag, girl. She's like, Jinkies! Um, uh, is a lip sync Lala Perusa Smackdown for the crown? Um, I don't always love lip sync, lip, lip -sync Lala Perusas. Um, I feel like it's kind of like a an easy way to do an episode. They're like, oh, we're just making the girls lip sync. Um, and because it's just a bunch of lip syncs. And again, which is fine, but I don't always love this, the Lala Perusas. I was telling this to my boyfriend, and this. Uh, this episode, if you wanted to see a bunch of drag queens lip sync, you could literally just go to a regular drag show. I, I, right. I don't see the stakes in this. I don't think right. this highlights everybody's talents. Exactly. Um, uh, it, it's uh, they do a lip sync every episode, so it's like right. it, it's kind of anticlimactic. Yeah, the novelty um, is worn and worn off because you get it. We literally see it every week. Yeah, and then you have these girls that are doing, uh, you know, all their stuff, especially like somebody like Roxy. She don't tumble or split or anything. So, you know, she has two moves. They're great moves, just like me. I have like two moves. Girl, once you you seen them, you seen it. You know, you see it every every thing. And yeah, there's some diversity in the songs and diversity in performances, and and we'll get to all that. But yeah, I think I just think that it's just kind of a meh episodes. Yeah. Yeah, our lip sync back then for the Crown All Stars Four. I was gagged in certain like I think that Naomi gagged a lot of people in her lip sync. She like fucking tore Gia up with that lip sync. A lot of mm -hmm. peruses. That was sickening. Talking about other other surprises in our lip sync. Lala Perusa. There was something else that happened. Although I would say the Gia and Naomi lip sync was everything. Like they really turned it out. Like they were. I was because I had never seen Gia perform. Form, I don't think. Um, and I was like, I was generally shocked at how well of a job she did in the, in the Lala Perusa. What else happened in that yeah, one? Yeah, uh, the the Latrice comeback was was like supposedly gaggy. Um, 
you know, Valentina Farah lip sync. Wait, what did they lip sync to? I don't remember, but it was like, I think that was kind of like. Jake, Jake, can you look that up for us? What Valentina and 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 um and Pheromone lip sync to? I forget. It was like um, it was like their moment of like since their the reunion from season nine. It it it, it was like their their like bum bum bum. Right. Yeah. Um, and who did you lip sync against? You lip sync against uh, Jasmine Masters. Jasmine Masters. Yeah, you ate that up. That was fine. That. It that the song that I did, which was Peanut Butter, was my least. Le- the oh, yeah, they were all RuPaul songs, right? They were all RuPaul songs. Yeah, yeah. Kitty girl. Yeah. Valentina and Fairmont did Kitty Girl. When I tell you, I don't remember a thing about that lip sync. I could not tell you anything about that lip sync. Yeah, I <laughs> think uh, I think Valentina won. Yeah, yeah. Um, and they, 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 the girls don't about like lip syncing rules. I think the, the the basic rules for lip sync are like do not touch anybody else. And what George's clock and jury are for, like, blocking people on stage. I'm like, well, bitch, if you get blocked, you get blocked. Like, you want to be yeah. blocked around you. Bitch, you need to make your, let, let these motherfucking judges see so you don't go home. Like, I'm sorry. Sometimes that, sometimes that you can, that's unavoidable. And, like, um, like, I agree with the non-touching thing for the most part. But, like... We touched on ours. We touched. Um, also, and that was fine to me. Like, like th- that was funny. How you yeah. like grab me from behind? That was funny. Yeah. And then um, when I slid into uh, Jada's ass, that, that every day. but that I didn't even mean to do. My fabric on my my <laughs> bodysuit was so slick. I just kept going. That shit I mean, was so good. Like, thank God Jada was there. Her ass was there to catch me because, bitch, I would have went off the stage. Like, that was <laughs> so good. That was so good. I remember when that happened. We were all sitting there like, oh, shit. It was good. Yeah, I so mean, I was like, thank ass. God she was there. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. So we're getting to the lip sync a lot of Perusa. And Bruno chooses the, the, the format. Bruno chooses a ball, and that ball is a person lip syncing, and then they get to choose the person. But then the person that they choose gets to choose the song, and they have a set list of songs they can choose from. And then so Bruno first chooses Got Mixed Ball, and she chooses Anguria, which I think is a bad move. I don't know why Got Mick would have chosen. Like, no shade. I love Got Mick. Got Mick is so funny and challenging. It's a great. I don't see, I don't, when I think of like, amazing lip syncers i don't think like got mick like at, the, at top of mind and then is a pretty good lip syncer i would think got mick would choose someone like maybe like chanel nina. or nina you know what i mean to go up to, to go up against yeah i think that most of the girls did do uh uh their picking based off of strategy of like either who they thought they could beat or most of them were like picking girls that they thought would pick a song that they would also do yeah. So I think that is a smart strategy because um, it, it at least gives you a leg up because if somebody picks a stupid song, even if you're a good lip syncer, you might not win because they may be doing it how the judges want. Um, but yeah, well, I, God Mick picking uh, Angeria. I don't think Angeria is the strongest lip syncer, but sh- I think she's far more of a stronger lip syncer than yeah. God Mick. I think she has a way of making it funny and still right. like it entertaining without um it being the same all the time. Yeah. And then I mean, yeah, and but I mean Angeria, yeah, yeah, I I I guess I'm I'm trying to figure out what got Mick's uh thought was about that. Um because Angeria Maybe just, maybe, but, maybe she was like, girl, I don't want to have to lip sync. <laughs> Send me to the chair. <laughs> <laughs> Angeria chooses En Vogue. Um, something that seems to me out of Got Mick's realm, but I will say when they start performing, I think Mick does a good job with the lip sync. Like, I'm like, okay, Got Mick. I was like, I, she knew all the words she was giving, like she was giving the vibe. I was impressed by how Got Mick was performing the song. Yeah, I thought, I thought that she did a decent job. Um, the, the skirt was so too long for me and it, she was yeah. like kind of tripping a little bit on it. It, yeah. that, so that was a little annoying, but overall for that song, um, being so out of her element, cause I just don't see Got Mick, cause she's kind of like darker pop kind of girly. Right. Like a, like a I punky vibe. Would yeah. Have been like I don't thing. see yeah. her doing like a fierce, like diva song, like. And Vogue. Vogue. Yeah. yeah. Which, but to be fair, they had nothing. 
and again, I, I don't, I, I don't know all got mixed uh, lip sync repertoire, but I, they didn't have anything that was in like her realm either. Like there wasn't anything I feel like got Mick. I feel like when Got Mick got that list of songs, she was like, okay, I guess I can do this. I don't think there was one. She was like, oh bitch, I hope I get this song. Which someone like Plastic, as we'll see later, Plastic performs Pussy Get Dolls all the time. Like that's her thing. Roxy had. Um, holding out for here. I think like a lot of girls had so a song. They were like, "Oh, this is my shit." Well, I didn't see that on the list for Got Mick, but I may be wrong. Maybe there is something. She was like, "I hope I got that," but I don't know. Well, you know, I also think the show does that on purpose. You know, they they know, and this is no shade to the show. The sh you know, it's a TV show. They have to guide the storyline of what they're wanting, and um, uh, they are the judge, jury, and executioner when it comes to how it's judged, what's picked for the songs. Because that's yeah. not the contestants. We don't get to pick that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so, but I, I do feel overall, Anjuria edges out God Mick, and, or, and rightfully so. Anjuria is the winner of that lip sync. She gets to go back, and God Mick goes back to the workroom. And you can tell when, when Rue ends, announces the winner. I love God Mick. She can try to be as poised and as, like, whatever you can see on her face. She's, like, over. She's, like, okay. Yeah. And I can just see it through her fucking eyeball. She's over it. I will say, though, the bitch looks sickening. Her Always. hair and her face and like I'm like the hill looks like it's coming from her goddamn scalp. Her wig game on the season is, I think the best. Ah, oh, the plastic is her and plastic obviously have the best hair. And I, but I think they're both on another level for different reasons. God makes yeah. it like so cool and punk. Where um um uh, uh plastic is doing these like geometric like really like extraterrestrial things. It's 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 it, their, their hair is quite amazing. Yeah, I, the the what, going back to what you said about Gottmik, it, she definitely uh, does not lose well, and um, and it's very entertaining to watch because you can see exactly what she's thinking on her face. Yes, she goes back to the work. Always, she sits with, she sits with a drink in her hand and she like looks at the screen. And she's like, uh huh. Yes, you could just. I mean, I can feel it through the screen. I'm like, she better work. She's uh -huh. a bad girl. <laughs> <laughs> and then so next, Bruno, which we hung out with on We Hope Pride. Bruno was back by my trailer. We're all hanging out. Bruno's so hot. He's so sweet. Girl, he just makes me melt. Yeah, he's so hot. Oh fucking Ooh. Bruno. Do you know do you know he's apparently a fucking rocket scientist too? Him and him and him and uh, uh Bryson went to the same fucking school. Really? Yes. Girl, did they go to this college to uh, recruit for drag race? <laughs> Girl. <laughs> Yes, is there a, an alumni on the casting or something? <laughs> the only one that I don't think went to school was Calix. The one that everyone... The, the, oh, they I didn't go to school at all. Okay. <laughs> Girl, she barely passed kindergarten, okay? Oh, thank um, God she's pretty. <laughs> she's beautiful. And rightfully yeah. so. Uh, so next, Bruno chooses um, the ball, and it's plastic. No. Is it plastic? No, no. The, Bruno chooses the ball, and it's Vanji. And um, to, to my surprise, again, Vanjie chooses Plastic, but I think what Vanjie was saying was she chose Plastic because of the song. But I think Vanjie could have beat someone like again Chanel or someone like Nina. But I guess they would. She thought they would have picked songs that wouldn't work for her. I don't know. But yeah, I I totally get this. Th this even though Plastic is a, a strong. Lip I would I would not I, gamble on a strong lip syncer. I would gamble it, on at least to me. I think I think Plastic could have won several of her lip syncs, but the show has made her out to be like she's like not a lip sync girl, which she I is. Know. To me. Um, I but know. I get what she's saying because Vanjie's also a strong lip syncer. So she is very for strong. her to to pick, she knew Plastic was going to pick Pussycat Dolls. So yeah. so it was it was smart. Yeah. Um, Plastic, which Plastic looks like fucking Nicole Scherzinger on Another Life. Um, mm -hmm. They do um, uh, Pussycat Dolls. And I think Plastic was fucking killing it. When she does that thing where she's on the floor and her legs are doing this thing, I was like, I've never, I've not seen that move on Drag Race and I thought it was impressive to to, to see. And I, I think Plastic is doing a good job, right? I, th I thought she kind of won that lip sync. It was even. I don't think she won. I think it was even. I think they both did a really good job. Yeah. Yeah. Vanjie just gives so much energy and she's like, Vanjie's staring down the, the barrel of the camera and she's doing her and she's like dancing. Like it, they're both doing, they're both turning it. Yeah. I think the one thing I miss in Vanjie that she never gives is um yeah, she never emotes to me. Her face oh, is very clear. it's just very deadpan. It's very like 
she'll lip sync and she looks beautiful and her hairography and her, her choreography is great, but she never emotes at all. Her face just doesn't move. Um, and, and that's coming from me. <laughs> <laughs> I have a question. Can you look at people and tell, tell what they've had done? Not always, but um, I'm very judgy. So yeah. Yeah. What 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 does what does Vanjie have done? Because I, I generally don't know. What what do you think she's had done? I definitely Botox and fillers. Um, she looks like she's had her teeth done. Oh yeah, um, I knew that. Yeah. And possibly a no job, but this is the thing with Vanjie is I think most of what we see with Vanjie is her makeup change. She mm. she's she's changed the way that she's done her makeup since she was on her other seasons. Yeah. Um, and that's why she looks so different. But um, I definitely think she's had her teeth done and definitely Botox and fillers, but uh, maybe a nose. I don't, I don't know about, I, I'm not sure, but um, yeah. definitely I'm make so it that. I cannot tell what Botox does or fillers. I mean, I know what the things do. I know fillers, you they fill as I know Botox things the muscle, but I can't tell what's what. I can't tell like what someone has. It's when, 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 like, like when people say, oh, this person has had bad work. I don't know what constitutes bad work, and I don't know, like, wh- I, 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 yeah, I don't, I don't ever, I'm not really, uh, you know. I think bad work would be like when you had silicone or fillers in your lips, and it moves around. Like, girl, I'm not, like, for, I am not afraid to say my lips. I, now they're much better than they were before I had surgery, I had some of my silicone actually removed because silicone tends to migrate and it will move to one side. And so if you look, this side of my lip is still thicker than this side. So when I go back again, I had just a little bit more of this taken out, basically taken out the rest of my silicone because she took all the stuff out from my bottom lip and she took out most from the top lip. So I'm going to have that part removed and then I'm going to have a lip lift. Work so it just does that. <laughs> and when they do that surgery, they're obviously doing the the, the 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 line inside, so you don't see it. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, like you can't see a scar at all in yeah. there. Work. Are you tired of seeing blank profiles or endless torsos on dating apps? I know I was, girl. It's so 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 frustrating trying to connect with somebody when you don't even know what they look like. I'm so tired of endlessly swiping through profiles and thinking. How am I supposed to know if I want to meet this person if I can't even see their face? Archer is a dating app for gay and queer men where every profile is selfie verified and everyone shows a face because dating shouldn't be that mysterious. I love that about Archer. Like you actually get to see who you're talking to right from the start and it makes everything so much more genuine and straightforward. Between dating and hung up mode, Archer gives you multiple ways to find connections and features like prompts and tags allow you to share more about who you are and what you like. I found it really helpful to use prompts to showcase my personality and interests, and it makes starting a conversation so much easier. And they just released a new feature called Communities, where you can join group chats with other guys who have similar interests or are going to the same event. I join a community for people who love music festivals, and it's been amazing to connecting with others who share the same passion. So whether you're looking for friends, fun, or finding the one, download Archer today. We all know there are things in life that you have to compromise on, right? Like an apartment that's in your budget but has an upstairs neighbor who plays the drums or going to the grocery store that is always out of everything that you need just because it's nearby. But when it comes to your health, there should be no compromises. Check out ZocDoc, the place where you can find and book doctors who make you feel comfortable, listen to you, and prioritize your health. ZocDoc is a free app and website where you can search and compare highly rated in-network doctors near you and instantly book appointments online. Once you find the doctor you want, you can book them immediately. We're talking about booking appointments with tens of thousands of top-rated, patient-reviewed, credible doctors and specialists. You can filter specifically for one who take your insurance, are located near you, and treat basically any condition you're searching for. The typical wait time to see a doctor booked on ZocDoc is between just 24 and 72 hours. That's it. You can even score same-day appointments. I love ZocDoc, and I can never go back to booking doctors the old way. Never. Go to ZocDoc.com rivalry and download the ZocDoc app for free. Then... Find and book a top-rated doctor today. That's Z-O-C-D-O-C dot com slash rivalry, ZocDoc dot com slash rivalry. Um, okay, so Vanjie wins and Vlasi gets sent to the workroom. Um, 
Likely mm-hmm. story. Her story for the whole season, honey. <laughs> Girl, Roxy Andrews has lost every lip sync she's done on. I mean, Roxy Andrews has won every lip sync she's done on Drag Race. <laughs> Plastique has lost every lip sync she's done on Drag Race. Isn't that crazy? It does not surprise me. The show loves to follow a pattern. Yeah. Loves to follow a pattern, bitch. Which I wish they would have uh, followed follow that panel for me on All Star Seven, bitch. I didn't win. I did. Th- I did. That's not true. I did three lip syncs on All Star Seven, and I lost the first one to Shay. I won with um, Jinx, and then I lost to Shay again in the finale. Well, girl, I lost both of mine to uh, Jinx, <laughs> and one was to a dance song. <laughs> um, uh, you know, I y'all know I love my sister Jinx. Jinx and I are good Judy's. She cracks me up. We love each other. But I will say that lip sync, I mean, that was the King of Queens one, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was when y'all went you know, for the roast. Yeah, I was that was that that was a gaggy one. That that was a gaggy one. That was a gaggy one. I mean, there was a, there was a couple of gaggy ones. I mean, I I I uh, at least one of yours for sure. I just thought was uh, definitely yours that you supposedly pulled out a lip stink, a stick for someone. Um, I definitely thought you won that one. Um, <laughs> But you know we're not judges. We're, we're not. not we, we, we're not we, judges. We, we, we judge, but we're not judges. Yeah, we're just lowly, <laughs> that's why we lost. <laughs> we're lowly contestants. We're lowly contestants, girl. Um, next, Bruno chooses Nina's lip stink, lip stink, lip stick, and she chooses Chanel. Um, um, you soon my head. Why did I say that? Chooses my you soon my head. What song did they do? Oh, you spin me around. You spin me around. That's the song you did, right? Yeah, as the old lady. <laughs> I still stand by it. I I still stand by it. This is the thing. If it is a song that is not in my repertoire, I'm gonna probably be, just be stupid out there because it just doesn't like it. Di- that song does nothing for me. I can yeah. appreciate it. I can appreciate the artist. Um, it just does nothing. For my creativity is not the type of songs that I like to perform. And so I was, I'm going to go out there and be stupid. And it was like 50, 50, if the audience liked it or not. And that's fine. That's fine. That's yeah. totally fine. And I still stand by it. I mean, you've also lip sync so many times on the show. Like for, we both lip sync because we've just done three seasons of Drag Race. You and I have both lip sync a lot on the show. And it's like, I've won I- half of them and I've lost half of them. I don't know what my ratio is. Let me see. Okay. Season 10, I lost. I mean, I won. I won. I went. I, I I won. I won. Went home. I all stars. T- all stars four. I oh, I lost to Valentina. Then I Manila and I both won, and then I did. Did I do did, did this too? Yeah. And then ours, you won. No, but we both won because we both won. The yeah, season. but that still counts as you winning. So that's okay. Win, and then for all for all star seven, I lo- I lost to Shay. I won with Jinx, and I lost to Shay again. And then I the one with you, I won. So that's six. Uh huh. And six four. and six. No, six and four. Oh. And then I lost to Jinx. So I've won six. I've lost five. I'm like I'm like fifty. I'm batting fifty fifty almost, girl. So but- assassin. What? Assassin counts. You were an assassin. Oh, oh yeah, an assassin, and I won that one. So I won seven. Oh, so, so you've won. Five. So you've won way more than you. Lost. I'm. I'm. I think I'm fifty fifty. I don't know exactly, but I'd have to check. But um, somebody just did that. Uh, like a a Those ranking a of yeah, uh, yeah, of the most w- lip sync wins and the most lip sync loss, and I and I was on both of the charts <laughs> 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 because I've done so many lip syncs. Yeah, we just done spin on the show, girl. We've done so many on the show. Um, yeah, so then they do that one and Chanel wins. And I agree with this. I think Chanel did a really good job with this interpretation. I thought Nina did a good job as well, but I can see how they gave it to Chanel. Girl, I can't with this costume for Nina. She loves to wear a fucking parade float for a costume. I don't get it. I don't get it. Have a fucking bodysuit. Have a fucking normal drag queen Costume. Be sexy. She can be. This. I. I think Nina is afraid to be sexy. You because think? I do, and I think 
with her proportions in drag, she can be sexy. Oh yeah, for sure. She could. I, I, and I don't get it. Like, girl, why do you, know. yeah. why do you have to have these ginormous blow up looking flowers all over? It just distracts. It It's cumbersome looking. It makes you look bigger. It, it just, it doesn't look good. I just, and that's my opinion and I, you know i just i don't get it yeah i guess yeah I, I, I maybe in her heart she's always gonna lean into comedy and camps but she wants to wear an, an, an outfit that gives that all the time but yeah she always is going that or that realm it don't yeah. look comedy and camp it looks ugly it would be a gag to see nina west do like imagine nina west coming on like a plastic again not because plastic is from bare skin but the Nina West version of that, right? Could be New Delusion, but like giving like sexy, like a cat. Suit. I would live. I've ever seen Nina in a cat suit, like a sexy cat suit. That would be that would be a gag. We would gag at that. Girl, yeah, girl. Why didn't she think of these things? Like, girl, do a hair reveal like Roxy did. Have a, yeah. a sexy costume that would gag the the judges, and they would let you win because yeah. you gagged them. Yeah, yeah. Or bitch, you had all that time off. Bitch, go ahead and like. And um, go ahead and fucking like s- spend some time in the gym, stretch. If Nina was got out there and busted out even a jazz split or something, we would have all been like, ah! "Oh, girl, it girl. would be crazy, girl, girl." And she is friends with all these people at fucking Disney, bitch. Girl, have somebody there make you uh, some sickening costumes. They got yeah. money. Oh, they sure do. Yeah, you're right. You know, Trinity, those, those all, all valid points were made for sure. Um, mm-hmm. And then, so for the second round, this leaves Roxy and Georges, who are the two best lip syncers this season. Fierce. And Roxy beats Georges. What do you think about this lip sync? What what song was this? It was, um, what was the song, Jay? I Need a Hero? No, yeah, this was, yeah, yeah, this was, this was, this was holding out for a hero, yes. Um... Obviously, Roxy I, has the tie because it was her grand, her, her great, her grandmother did it, and her drag mother did it, so it was that connection to it. But I, I was into like George's portrayal of the song. I thought George's did a really good job. I think Roxy did a great job. I think she did a great job. I will say that George's embodied the song more. Um, she's just the, the song is very George's. It, it's just very George's. Her type of energy that she brings to performances. Sometimes I feel like Georgia overperforms a song, but this one, because of the way that the song is, I feel like it was her energy matched the the song best. Yeah. Um, so I would have probably given it to Georgia. I will say in this though, in the mug, the way that Roxy was, I was a fire in my st-. like the way she was giving it with her face. I will say to me that edged her a little bit because. Like it was just like I felt like it was Bonnie Bonnie Tyler. I think it was, I felt like she was singing the fucking song the way that Roxy was and Georgia was dancing very well. She performed it very well, but Roxy gave the entire performance with just her face, and I was really impressed by that. But I think maybe that's what it's called. Uh, why it's called a lip sync for uh f- for the win? It's a lip sync, so like the the focus is you know on the face and yeah. like what I was talking about. What um Banji doesn't do. Roxy does do very well, very, which is emote. Very well. Yeah. 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 Um, so then Vanjie goes next, and uh, she chooses Chanel, and they're doing I'm Every Woman. The Shaka Khan version, though. People don't know that. The Whitney Houston, Whitney Houston covered it from Shaka. It was originally Shaka's song. Uh, well, Whitney did a lot of covers. Yeah. A lot of her songs. I'm Every, um, um, uh, uh, what's the song? The, 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 the Dolly Parton one. Um, uh, I will always love you. Always love you. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Um, and Chanel, to me, Chanel is giving like very old school drag. No surprise. Chanel is an old school queen. Yeah. And, but Evangel was delivering this one with more energy, which I don't mind. And I'm and I'm every woman with energy. But I think this old school interpretation, especially keeping in mind who your audience is, RuPaul, uh, uh, Michelle Visage. And Ross Matthews, like, the, he, she's giving, like, the old school interpretation, which I think they are responding to more. So she ends up winning. Also, the era of this song. it uh, I feel like Chanel is just embodying the, the, the era, the vibe of what the song is. Yeah. Um, it's not a, a dips and splits and high kicks, hair flips kind of song. It is 
uh, emotion and like power, but like feeling it. It, it. And I feel like Chanel did that down. Yeah. And I like, I like thinking about stuff like this. I'm like, I get so jealous that no shade. Like, although I love like the modern pop songs I've, I've gotten to do on the show, but I would love to do a standard like I'm Every Woman or like fucking holding out for a hero. Bitch, if I can Girl, get you have gotten to do some iconic stuff. You got to do the one I wanted to do, which was the monologue from Designing true. Women. I mean, bitch, that. And then the uh, the old McDonald, that was fucking epic. That was you cute. and Shay absolutely demolished But I'm Every that. Woman. I'm Every... Bitch, I would live my Yeah, I mean, I can totally that. see you doing that too. But but you've gotten to, to do some really good ones. You did another... There was another old school one that you got to do, right? I did with Manila. Jump, jump, jump. But not yeah, like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I don't... Yes. Yes. <laughs> I will say... And I, will I also... get you spin me around. Hmm. <laughs> no, you bitch. You had some fierce ones too. Bitch, you got to do emotions. Oh, yeah, I loved that one. That one was That's fun. insane. You got to do emotions yeah. on Drag Race. That's wild, bitch. Yeah, that was fun. And I will say also, I loved our All-Stars for Fighter. I think Fighter was a good song for a finale. Oh, yeah. I, although I, I, although I, I wish I wouldn't have been so exhausted. I, girl, I was just dead. Like, I was, I was yeah. dead. Like, I was dead. At that point, I know you had to. You had to have been too. They put yeah, us through yeah. through so much. Yeah, I was yeah. dead. Like yeah. you, I, you remember you had to literally pull me up off the ground. Yeah, I could not yeah. get up. If they would have said if this was a lip sync um, SmackDown and that was the first round, I would have been out. I like there's no way I would have been able to do anything else. I was <laughs> yeah. dead. Yeah, Grid, we gave it all. It's ours, but we really the fuck Girl. Um my but- arm gave out on on one of the 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 the. the Thingies that I did, girl. I was, I was dead, dead. <laughs> so now we go into the semifinal round, which is, I mean, the the yeah, the final, the, the, yeah, semifinal round, which is Roxy versus Angeria. And um, what song was this? This was. I didn't was write in the this heart. Good in the heart. Yes. Yeah, they did. Oh, good in the heart. I think. And, oh, who? It's on the docu- oh, the document. It's on the oh. document. Oh, well, wow. can you just tell us the answer? He tells us on the doc. What is it? Groove is in the heart. <laughs> Thank you. Groove is in the heart. <laughs> you better. Y'all producer was like, uh, uh, read, read the document. What bitch we here now? <laughs> <laughs> um, I only see the pictures on the document. This, wow. uh, I, I don't read. Um, <laughs> you can't. I can't read the dog. The dog can't read. <laughs> the dog can't read the doc. Uh, but yeah. So they do <laughs> I can't read the doc. <laughs> they do groove is in the heart. And I will say we're seeing a nice variety from Roxy in this. I think Roxy uh-huh. absolutely bodied Andrea in this. The Turkin section oh. was funny. That little like pop pussy break music thing. Uh-huh. That, like she, she knew every word to the rap. I don't know how old Roxy is, but... This seems to be a song that she is very familiar with. She killed it. I think she's she just turned 40 or she's like 40-ish. What is wrong? Because I think her and I are, are very similar in age. Roxy. She'll be 41 in September. Yeah. Work. Okay, yeah. Roxy, bitch, this, you can tell this song. I mean, so you're a similar age. Is this song, uh, in, is, is, is this your jam? I love this. I also, do you remember um, Crush? It's just. A little crush. Yes. Uh, da, 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 Every time you talk. Yeah, all of that is very like the groove is in the hot. I don't know if this is the same time period, but it it just all reminds me of that. Yeah, I think Roxy Love killer. It. I think Roxy like and Drew didn't stand a chance. Roxy fucking turned this out for me. Completely. Yeah, yeah. She yep. really brought it. In. So which pushes her to the finale, and the finale you have Roxy Andrews versus Chanel, and and nobody uh, saw that coming, honey. Girl, Chanel going to the finale. Like, what do we, what do we think about that? Like, that's a little wild, right? I think it's fierce. Good for her. Went from the the bottom to the top, honey. Yeah. So she got a badge because that you got a badge winning the uh, the quarterfinal round, and yeah. um and uh and now, now she's at what three? Yeah, she, Chanel has three badges now. Girl. She got three badges. And I will say, her legs look so good. The only thing I had with her outfit that I, I took umbrage with is that her legs were so tan, but the nude illusion was fucking so pale. So I'm like, girl. 
I mean, for all the girlies out there that tan, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta take that into account when you when you get these outfits, bitches. Like, yeah, I don't, I don't be tanning. I, I, um, unless I'm out in the sun, I don't be doing none of that. Yeah, I, I do use leg spray, but I try to get the lightest one because, bitch, I am not trying to be uh, out there and people calling me Raven, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, I was also glad that Roxy Andrews did this entire thing with them goddamn Louboutins. I said, "This bitch better work in the Louboutins." Let me tell you what: for for how expensive Louboutins are, they are the most uncomfortable shoe I have ever worn in my entire life. I've never had the privilege of having a pair, so I can't even say how comfortable. All right, my feet are too big. Really? Yeah, they 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 stop at like forty two. Bitch, I'm a forty five. <gasps> oh. <laughs> The inhale, the inhale, you fucking bitch. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I said forty five. She said, uh, uh, "Well, I think that they um they have to do customs, <laughs> but like to do a custom Louboutin, it is bitch. You have to like go to like Paris, and it's like a whole thing to get it. I was like, I don't need to pair Louboutins that fucking bad. Fuck all of that. That's just paint much. the bottoms of them red, bitch." <laughs> Hello, and nobody. The red, the red comes right off immediately, anyway, girl. Oh, does it? It does. It rubs yeah. right on off, right on off. Yeah, Roxy. She has a Roxy's a big Louboutin girl. Oh, Roxy girl, all Louboutin of them. Ago. Like she has a lot of Balenciaga. She has a lot of Louboutin. Roxy, uh, Roxy is. A, she's a is label a, whore. She's a label whore. Um, and the song that her and Chanel do is "Break Free" by Ariana Grande, and um. Again, I think that Roxy's interpretation of the song, I vibed with more. And I think that rightfully so, Roxy Andrews is crowned the winner of the RuPaul Lollapalooza. Absolutely. I, I think that this was this song is perfect for Roxy. She's a sexy diva she and is. definitely won over Chanel for this, for sure. I mean, Chanel, girl, why? You knew what the song was. I think they knew what the song was. And she went and changed into... This old lady hair and a an old duster from like 1973. <laughs> yeah, it. it was it was it was so yeah it wasn't it wasn't the tea, but you know what? Thing. Good for her. The bitch has gotten three stars in two episodes. Um, she has more stars than Vanjie now, and got yeah, me, that's fierce. So bitch yeah. work. Who cares? And Nina more than all. And of Nina, them. yeah, yeah. So, she's like um, right in the middle now. She's right in the middle. With I think mm-hmm. she's tied with Angeria. She yeah, her and Angeria. Yeah. Wow. Yep. But it's, what a what a season of ups and downs. Although someone who has consistently been at the top are Roxy and um and Plasti. They have consistently flown high. Yeah. Yeah. I also think Angeria's been pretty high. Yeah, I think so too. I, I think I can't think of like uh uh an episode where she just completely flopped. Yeah, there hasn't been. I can't think of one. I think Andrea's in a, a, a consistently. Me and um, me and um, my really good friend, um, we've been talking about it, and sometimes he's like, "No, Andrea's this." I'm like, "No, I think that Andrea is turning it out." And he likes to shade Andrea. I don't know why, but I think that Andrea's been really great. Also, I time. think she's a contender for the win. I think it's between Roxy, Plastique, and Andrea for sure. I mean, if if Andrea can get some more stars, because it obviously has to do with if you get enough stars to yeah or badges or whatever it's called to get to the top but yeah um yeah and that was the listening while of perusa i think next week we go back to one more regular oh it's the oh no we have one more episode oh no it's a split it's a a split finale Finale. so it's the it's the first episode of the the final well the talent show is obviously coming and i'm trying to look at these girls i think plastique to keep along with her her heritage and everything. I think she's going to do something Asian inspired, Vietnamese, I would imagine. Um, mm-hmm. And I'm trying to think of which girls. I think Vanjie's going to do something dancing. I think maybe Roxy's going to do like something out of like Raja or Bianco Del Rio, like make something on stage in a minute or something like that. And I think Angie is going to give you like a verse, like an original song situation. I think that's what I can see happening for this finale. Okay. What do you think? Did you see the preview for the next episode? They didn't tell you much. Oh, I I saw I saw their um the preview in the preview it the, it says that they're going to be some sort of voting. Oh yeah, of something. 
I with the, yeah, they with, the lipsticks back. Yeah, they, oh, yeah. all the lipsticks. Yeah, and so there's gonna be some twist that's gonna throw everything through a loop because um, of ranking or voting or eliminating or pushing forward or something like that. For we for, better get a motherfucking talent show. Now they have a customer to the talent show. Now I'm so because a, a talent show really lets you know like what like some idea of like what that girl's gonna bring out into the real world when they're done with the show. And I would love to see. I, I I I love the talent shows now. I've, I've come to I've gone back and forth on this thing so much, but I am at a place now where I like the talent show because it shows me what to expect. I like the talent show. I I think it is very hard to showcase what you need to showcase in sixty seconds. It is um, tough. It, it's really tough because uh, there's not much build up. It's like you immediately have to go to the build up. Um, but I do love I do love them because it's it's always a variety. So there's always something different. Yeah, I like when they allow the girls to have dancers or helpers, props, backdrops. Yeah, all stars, all stars seven, all stars yeah. four. And seven. All yeah. stars four. You like came in with like the, 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 bitch. You got the bare minimum. All stars seven, bitch. Whatever you they, ask, for, the, whatever you ask for, they gave. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, girl, um, yours and and Shay's are like top tier out of any talent show ever to me oh my god okay so on the patreon exclusive i'll tell you all about my talent show and like the the set dressing because that was like a whole thing you know what that's a great because again i'm talking so fucking boring i can't um we go oh, let's talk <laughs> about that okay um all right y'all Tr the twitters are back and trinity oh we'll also talk about um a, 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 a possible podcast situation a, a thing I've, I've, I've been thinking that that we could do yes we could have done. okay um, so We'll catch on the Patreon for some All Star Seven talent show tea and some other things. I'm gonna ask you um, which Rue girl um, you would push off Mount Everest. So if you want to hear that, go to the Patreon <laughs> now. Bob, <laughs> you don't give it away yet. <laughs> I have, I have, I have, I have a new, uh, uh, like uh, a specific one. Um, and their name starts with an F. But um, find out over at the Patreon. <laughs> See y'all there. <laughs> Work.